Hello. Take Gregory. Biggie. How you doing? I am fantastic. Good, it's me. I was calling to see if you were ready. Been ready. You been ready? Okay. Um, before I start, just let me let you know, I got a whole lot of technical shit going on here at High Tech. And it's my first time using it, however, I'm familiar with it. And if for any reason you want to have something deleted out, I can do that. I can edit, I can do whatever I want to do. So if you say something, do it. Okay. Dick Gregory. Dick? Yes. Hey, it's Leia. How you doing? Fantastic and getting better. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I'm so glad that you um, agreed to do this with me and your wife Lillian is uh, just a sweetheart for... Um, Let me just say this here. This has changed the dynamics of these types of shows. We have to depend on CBS and NBC and, and the major news. We didn't know, but um, we just felt somewhat like now, so much of this is coming to the front now. They even have stored doing new things, and not much. They're not asking no questions for why. And, and so there's certain things that, that, that people talk about that the FBI should check it, even if it's not right to find out who's putting this out here. Because this could be bigger than we think it is. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you gave me an assignment and I did it. I went to go see Lucy the other night. Can you talk louder? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you gave me an assignment to go see, and you too. Can you speak a little louder also? Um, I'm speaking loud, so it must be the equipment. Okay. I went to go see Lucy the other night. You gave me an assignment. I went to go see Lucy, the movie Lucy. And I thought it was a very, very interesting um, with uh, Charlotte Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman. Yes, uh-huh. I thought it was interesting because in the begin usually they don't give away very, very uh, interesting things, but I saw a lot of occult in it, and they showed the, the monkey in the beginning, Lucy, and the first uh, remains that they found was a, a primitive person that was supposed to be a female and they called it Lucy. I'm thinking, well, why are they giving the that away so called it Lucy, you know, the reason they called it Lucy because the scientist was listening to the Beatles music. That's why it was named Lucy. Okay, now as far as the, the monkey is concerned, that's the reason why they called the first uh, human slash primitive being Lucy. However, after my trying to decode it, at the end, I'm certain you're familiar. Oh, let's go back to the end. When they found things, they found skeletons. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was almost three million years old. So what they did was came in and started putting meat on the bones to see what it looked like. Mm -hmm. It ran first in 1985 on the time of news was on the cover. So they sketched in what this, like, 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 and people do sketches for the police. They said, okay, I'll take you. Now, what would she look like 20 years from now? Okay. So what they did, they said, okay, here's what, because we haven't, we haven't got all of these. Some of them are just the case. But I'm saying when them scientists were doing it, they was listening to the Beatles record. That's the only reason she was named Lucy. Okay, I'm, I understand that. But my, my position is this. I'm sure you're uh, certain that you're familiar with Michelangelo's uh, painting of the creation of Adam in the Sistine Chapel. Yes. And you see the two fingers touch. Yes. That's what they did at the end of the movie Lucy trying to imply that she was a god and he or it she was creation and she was the creator and this and they named the movie Lucy to decode Lucifer now some people leave the theater when the movie's over and they don't stay and listen to the soundtrack or listen to 
uh, excuse me, uh, read the credits. And there's a... Exactly. Well, when I went, I was the only one that stayed. And the soundtrack is saying something to the effect of, uh, Lucy, we hear you. Uh, Lucy, our savior. Lucy, it's, it's just very, very occultious and demonic. Saying that. You talk about Lucy, but the devil, right? If that's what you believe, yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying when people talk about that, I'm not believing that. Nah, don't, don't get hostile with me because I'll stop doing this show, okay? No, Greg, you know, I, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm one. I'm saying that most people, uh, when they hear the word Lucifer, they think of the devil. True. Okay? Now, there's never been a fat devil. Huh? Mm -hmm. There's never been a devil in a dirty outfit. Okay? At all. There's never been a devil that's been assassinated. Look at all the religious leaders that have been set from popes. Huh? Oh, look at all the fat people that represent me from Buddha to what have you to what have you. So I'm saying, you know, you have to tend to think and I'm, there's a whole lot of people. My grandson, seven years old. So you glad that um, that God sent Jesus here um, to die for our sins. That's what they say. Then why did you just kill the devil? Mm. Now, now think about how much sense. If it's one devil hmm? mm -hmm. and one Jesus, okay. and Jesus is dead and the devil's still here, and if we say that the devil, you know, made me do it, then why did you kill the devil? So that whole thing is revolving because you have a different mindset now. The question that I ask here is America one of the most Christian nations in the world, how is it you can name a school after the devil, but you can't name one after Jesus? Mm -hmm. You know, I went to Sumner High School Bulldogs, you know, where the other guy went to the, the Lincoln Red Devils. Mm -hmm. And then Christians go to the football game or the basketball game and pull for the devil. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole lot of new thinking now around what they gave us and what they told us because you have more exposure to the to, to seeing things. Not just that, but you have, you have more exposure to asking questions. And so when you, you look and see that what impressed me about the the, the, the monkey is he started off drinking water out of his hand. Wow, I remember you were telling me about that. And that's evolution, wow. Uh, that that in itself is evolution. Yeah, and so, and so what, I've seen it eight times. Uh, <laughs> and, and the first time, there's a lot of stuff you don't see unless you go in there knowing something. And so when, when I went in there because I know they're talking about a black woman. Right. A black man, mm -hmm. a black woman. Now, everything we see on this planet is men, men, men. As a little girl, you walking down the street with your mother and father, and you see a stop sign. Well, stop signs wasn't here back then. Mm -hmm. You see a stop sign, and they have vision, they have a hand, because there's a lot of people that's colorblind. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when that sign says stop, that's a hand. That's a man's hand. Wow. So at five years old, on your subconscious mind, a thought. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then when the green mic shows, shows go, that's a man's gate shoes, and you see the pants. And it goes on. You heard of a thing called those tops they put around uh, holes in the street? Why is it called a man hole? Mm -hmm. And what I mark over is when you take uh, uh, Joan of Orange, Gentle Joan of Orange. And wait a minute now, with men controlling this whole thing, you can't get no more man in the military. Gentle, 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 Gentle. He was, thank Gentle, Gentle of Orange. 
started doing the stuff she was doing when she was 14 years old. So now, how come there's never been a man in them that become a saint? And if men control that, what kind of power does she have that with all of their viciousness against women? When you think about that, we talk about these daughters, these wives, girlfriends, their mothers, now, Greg, before we digress too much, can you please, because uh, we talked about this once before, about the healing that we have innately in us. You were t- speaking about uh, the evolution of the monkey, Lucy, drinking from her hands. Can I'm you talk about that? I'm showing that no man, it's very important, that no man, you know, has ever become a man. So I'm saying when we look and see the first person here is a woman, that's very important because there's nothing in your psyche when you're born can tell you that. That this is a woman. So I go there and I'm looking to see where do a black woman be. Mm-hmm. There are no black women in the movie. And only one black man. You know what I'm saying? And then I realize what they're talking about. The brain. There is no such thing as a different color brain. Black, white, brown. The brain is the same color. I got to think about this. Oh, that's brilliant. That it's all the same color. And then I realize from hearing the old black folks say, God is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And God is everywhere. Now go to the end of the movie. Where'd she go? What it say? He's everywhere, right? Right. So it means once you build up you get your brain it's this full capacity. Okay? Mm-hmm. That is God. That is God. You know, so you... I go back and I do the same before. When I'm born I'm using a hundred percent. That's me that develops my skin. That's me that develops my fingernails. The God in you, correct. Huh? The all in us. The the God in us, right. Yeah, well it's the one hundred percent. Once I come out and get caught up into you know, culture patterns, huh? Then that decreases. And decreases. I try to figure out where the drug came in. You often talk about the power of a woman, and I felt especially empowered when I seen that movie because being a woman, I'm the only being out of a male and a female that can experience pregnancy because a man can't, and the CHA. So when the baby's developing, that serum is in is in the woman. It's inside of her. Yeah, but you might not be you might not be functioning in that at hundred percent capacity of your brain. Huh? Mm-hmm. How many mothers drink? How many mothers take take the switch in that? Huh? Mm-hmm. That lowers that, huh? Because if you have a, a Rolls Royce that costs three hundred million dollars, all I got to do is take the spark plug out, which costs thirty dollars, and the car came up. You know, and you can put something. You cannot put something clean in an unclean vessel. And I'm saying that to say, when her teeth started to fall out when she was drinking the champagne, she was abusing her body. And then they went back and showed where Morgan Freeman was showing how the natural catastrophes and things of that nature. And most of us want to elevate, but we're not keeping our universe, meaning our bodies, clean. Well, we don't know. You know, you cannot put your hypnotism of what you know in people and they're going to do a movie about it. Mm-hmm. You Know that. How many people go see that movie? I had to see it eight times. <laughs> eight times. And you're so a sage. I'm going to certain things. Right. Okay. And and and, and so she, she moves from X amount of points to ten percent. Well, we've been there before. Right. You know, a person that takes cocaine, heroin, nicotine, caffeine. That don't make you high. It's your body's reaction to it. You 
You you're talking about the end of the movie, and you're you're the you're the wisest person I know. I mean, I don't know a lot of people, but if I did, you'd still be like sage, and um, that's why I choose to ask you this question. I have my own theory, but I'm asking, what do you believe is the way that we were? What do you believe before prior to three, prior to the three million years, for, fi- for prior to existence? Because even the totality of all things had to create existence, even creation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know we don't can't prove it with analysis, but I'm saying what, if any, belief do you have about what was our state of being, our state of mind when we before our creation? I, mean, I, mean, I don't know that. I know this. Okay. When I go there, I take every tool in my body, mm-hmm. and I look at it and I say, When God said it's not good for man to be alone, that part? No, no, no. When Adam said to God, I am lonely, huh? You remember that? Yeah, I remember you saying that, uh huh. No, that's in the Bible. Okay. And why didn't God say, How can you be lonely when ain't nobody here but you? Mm hmm. Huh? Mm hmm. That's a very legitimate piece. How? Lonely. I made you. I have made two of you, huh? Right. So how can you sit? Well, once you see that, then you know that's a lie. Loneliness is an emotion you can only feel if you want to have someone there. Lonely is emotion. I'm talking about simple for my grandmother to understand. Not some professor at Harvard. <laughs> Something my grandmother can understand, mm-hmm. huh? She won't hear nothing about no damn emotion. Something she can understand, huh? Mm-hmm. And they got shows you can go to where you get that. They got stuff on TV that's not for people who have been miseducated to what a human thinks. I'm saying simple, 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 a simple thing. Um, let me ask Adam, you. Adam, they tell us it's the first person. Mm-hmm. So there's no other person. God, I am lonely. It's simple. How can you be lonely? It's close, right there. If you need more than that, then you're in trouble. But that's what happened after you found it, found it, found it, found it. How did I learn my ABCs? Over and over and over and over and over. Right. It was A, then it was B. It didn't, it didn't get to the point where it was A to skip the C. Right. So when you take that, 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 that truth and, and twist it, as long as coming, da, 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 da. But what we have to understand is that once you put on the magic glasses, you can never take them off. You can never see things as they're supposed to be. You see things as they are, and you can never make a mistake before somebody else can win. That's the privilege and the fault of winning the magic glasses. So consequently, uh, when, when I went up there, then we talk about, well, if nothing comes on this planet without coming through the belly of a woman, mm-hmm. then where did we come from? Where did we come from? And then all at once, you know, there's a theory that wasn't nobody here one time but me. I love that. You told me about that. Yeah. You know, but wait, do you remember that show that used to come on TV called Wonder Woman? Oh, well, it came out when I was a kid, and yeah. they're from this place called Paradise Island, and this, they're superheroes, and there's nothing but women there, and it's a lot of women, and they're reproducing, and I'm saying that to say that Hollywood is not a creative being. It's, it's not. They're telling stories that they know really happen. Yeah. They're, te- they're just telling history that they're not... You and I are married, okay? Mm-hmm. And I'm a drug Okay. So we degenerated down to the level 
of producing this thing called a man. Okay? Okay. And that's why the hatred is there from us. I'm crippled, I'm a drug addict, and I know it happens because you and dad are drug addicts. Because we defiled somebody. And, 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 and so, so when you sit and you look, God has never made anything that wasn't perfect. Never made anything that wasn't perfect. So when you got black men talking about, oh, she got good hair. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Her uh, hair didn't come from the middle of the road, but God that created the mountain and, and all the rivers and all the oceans and all the streams. Where did we get to the point where we can say good and bad when that goes to, to white supremacy uh, of me, making me hate myself, making me look at you as a black woman and see you as ugly, making you look at the black woman and see you as ugly. And so black woman in America is the only woman on the planet mm, that go to a place called a music hall. Mm. Mm -hmm. How ugly you have to be. If I came by your house and we can work on a project and I felt something wrong with my eye, you take me to a dentist. My teeth. Right. Felt, you take me to an eye doctor. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, why am I going to a beauty hall? Because you feel enjoy the beauty. Well, then I'm not even aware they taught me that. How many black men do I hear say, man, oh man, but well, she's a strong sister but called they call her beauty. Mm -hmm. When have you heard a white person call they want to be strong? Huh? Not too often. Okay, you control and and because see we got a different group of, of whites here today. And when I go to the movie, I, I go to How long have you known that? Huh? How long have you known that? Am I speaking loud enough, Greg? Yeah. How long have you known that? Black folks know. I knew Frank and Jesse James. Weren't you? That's why they was hard on the railroad in the bank, because they wouldn't hide you. Well, my mother, 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 mother worked for Frank and Jesse in the movie. And so we know that when Jesse was killed, Frank took the money, when he should change his name to Rockefeller. I can't work for you, and I'm invisible. Most of the, 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 the Pullman board. Mm -hmm. Richard Pullman, I was talking to the side, that there were enough people, when they said people that were talking about white people, that's wealthy enough. They can afford to ride the train with the serve. The super, super rich white folks, they had their own train. And they would just hook it up to a regular train. In the caboose, huh? So he looked around and found this company in London that made the, the train. And they said, this is what I want. Is that what they mean by vestibule? Huh? You said they would hook it to the back of the train. Is that what they mean by vestibule? Roosevelt and them, before they was all of that, the president was hooked their car to the back of the train car. But they wasn't about to ride with the people. Mm. That's where they always got. Speaking of Roosevelt, and the, you know, which would bring me to the United States, what do you think would happen to this government, to the United States, if, or the world even, if you will, 
if Israel and Islam were ever to come to a real, true alliance. Baby, I'm a, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay. I didn't skip from that to Roosevelt to get into Israel right now. And so, what happened is Richard Poole went into the South to the reconstruction and picked. He was looking for six foot three, dark black, white curly teeth, and a good smile. That's who he wanted to be pulled and pulled. And that's what he picked. And so when you pick me and nobody, you know, sees me, I'm in the business. Say anything around me. Most of the Pullman poets, most of their children went to college, a lot of them came on time being there because they hear the real white folks talking about what football teams the game would be tricky, what stop is going to be, and they came back to the black community. And they told me. And they invested and, in that stock? And, and they invested in it, or they had somebody in the neighborhood that they wanted to invest in it. And they knew everything, and the reason I go this way is to talk about we knew that Abraham Lincoln was a black man, or his dad. His mother happened at a holy roly tent that happened in, in Kentucky, but the family moved to uh, Illinois. Now, now why do you that? So, <clears throat> when Yes, I did. Did you see at the beginning we were talking about his kinky, nappy hair? Yeah, and took his head off, yeah. <laughs> okay, but that's what this was about, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I probably never would have paid no attention to it had I not known what the black folks were saying, you know, about me. Right. Mm -hmm. And so black folks know a whole lot of stuff that the average white person don't know. And so when Rockefeller change his name to Rockefeller, if you go back up and look at Rockefeller, Nixon, who never had no big money, you can trace his ancestors back all the way to Babylon. Mm. And Rockefeller, you trace him back to the Missouri, Kansas, border, and it stops, okay? And so when you sit and you... And that's where you're from, right? Missouri. Missouri, yeah. And, and so consequently, when you trace it back, so it's seeing other things that, that, that makes the home. So then we go back to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And he said, I am only, so here comes Eve. But now let me tell you how you got here. You come to me, the same God. Huh? If you own General Motors and that's your car and your family bed, why you got to go to board to get something to make another? Do you believe each of us has an Eve? Do you believe that every man has an Eve? No, 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 baby, baby. Can I finish something? And you ask all the questions you want. I'm not here for no debate. I'm just saying simple logic. Why do a God who built the whole universe got to take something out of me to make you? That's all I'm saying. Huh? You know what I mean? You listening to yourself. So you're saying? I learned because I heard people start somewhere that I didn't hear in my house, I didn't hear in my school. Okay? Right. And your question is why didn't they? I'm saying, once you hear that, and you know, God, we put every planet here, every cell here, but when it comes to making a woman, huh, I need to take something out of me. And in some societies, not all societies, if I marry you, here you take my last name. Why, well, last name shows ownership. Right. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. And so, and, 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 and so consequently, when you look at, hmm, when you look at, now go along with it, okay? So he took something out of me and he made you, okay? All right. And now there's Adam mm -hmm. and Eve. How many people is that? Two. Two people. And then 
I can see where one would come with to that conclusion, yes. Okay. And so all at once now, you don't have to believe in the other God. If there's something here and it ain't called God, God means power, that's all. Right. The word, the name God. That's right. why you call it. It's a German word. Said, God, power. Right, right. All it means is power. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. And so now you got the three people here, which is and so then you start seeing and seeing. I'm just talking about the hatred that's always been going at the beginning. It's, it's when these men start tampering with it and they bring their hatred for women with them. Because I can't be you. I can't create life. I, I need you to create life for it. And, 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 and so you look at it and you look at it. So it's going back, and a woman couldn't teach, a woman couldn't go to school. I mean, when I was born in 1932, we're not talking about those billions of years ago. If you was a billionaire, you couldn't buy a car or a house without a man trying to go. Mm -hmm. man, a dirt poor man who ain't got nothing, but you couldn't sign for a car. You couldn't sign. A woman teacher in St. Louis couldn't get married. Mm, afraid she'd get pregnant, huh? Pregnant time out of school. Okay. And so it was this whole, this, this, this whole thing. And so when I looked at the movie, I don't go there with intention to see nothing but a movie. And what are they saying? And so I'm saying, you get the Spielbergs, you get these young guys that come through they move a little bit here, uh, telling the truth. They're not going to break it down and say it because they're still in it to make money. Right. And, and Abraham Lincoln was gay. Lover was a black man. So that's why the, the gay wing of the Republican Party called themselves the Ball Cabinet Republicans. Mm -hmm. Who's the only president you know that lived in a long time? Mm -hmm. Exclusively Lincoln. So when you, when you look at the codes that they put, well, they're talking to one another. And if you're fortunate enough to break the code, then you, you know, oh, man, this movie is heavy. It's deep, huh? And so when you sit and look at the mythology, the mythology, you were so young, but there was a guy named Little, Little Willie John, a blue saint. Couldn't read or write. He wrote. I'm not familiar with it, no. If I don't love you, baby, eggs ain't blue, grits ain't blue, three, eggs ain't blue, three, and Mona Lisa was a good man. Yes, I've heard that song, yeah. Okay, who wrote that? Patty Page made big bucks off of it, because the first time white folks heard it was on a white radio station. Now, he couldn't read, he couldn't write, he was just a thug. Drunk. He ended up in jail in Walla Walla, Washington. Ooh, that's a place to got be. Into a fight. And was killed. Now, at least I tell you this. If I don't love you, they will be Rich Faith Rose Ring, Edge Faith Rose Ring, and Mona Lisa was a man. About 20 years ago, the Massachusetts. Institute of Technology got this new scanner and said the same thing that Mona Lisa is a man, is divinity, was known back then as a drag queen. Mm -hmm. That's it. 
So does that mean that water would cause morning sickness to subside for pregnant women? No, no, no. Water don't cause morning sickness like a water. That's, that's what I said. Stop it. It would stop it. We named it morning sickness out of our ignorance. We named it that. Mm. All the baby knows with this 100% that I'm not getting enough food. That child starts taking. Now you go to the doctor more and say they give you pills and all kinds of medicine and all the money. They so how much am I messed up because I'm not getting the right water. When a baby lays in the crib, remember, when children was born, there no beds or no crib, you slept on the ground and whatever poison you had in the ground pulled it out. Wow. Back in the old days, when I was a little boy, we didn't have apartment buildings. And, and all the people that lived in a, a two block radius, whatever was wrong with you, the earth grew in the middle of You had to plant nothing. Huh. We see it now. A dog run out the house, run across the street, and start nibbling on little flower bugs. And that. They, they don't have them on their side. You, you know so much about so many different things. You know? I'm sorry, I just used to. You know so much about so many different things. Like you were telling me about, you know, there was a reason why you drink from your hands and eat with the hands and all that sort of thing and demagnetizes anything negative from the food. What do you think is our, being humans, our owner's manual? If you went, went to Best Buy or Radio Shack and bought something, it would come with an owner's manual. I don't think that, you know, our creator would put us here without rules, or without an owner's manual and how to take care. He's trying to go back to the best and put it there. Look, look, look. Have you ever heard the old folks sitting in my house drinking coffee and every shit they take, they holler, ah. <laughs> Why do you think they was hollering? It was hot, right? It's hot. Is that right? Yes. If you was drinking it out your hands, you wouldn't put it in your mouth because your hands would feel it. Huh? Right. Okay. That's what we talked about, right? When you eat in food, huh? When you eat with your hands, it's hard to put something in it that glass in it, huh? So you're saying all of our rules are innately in us. We we already know it. How can we forget a human? How can an energy put the whole universe here? The sun. Sun lasted at 12 noon, one tenth billion of a second longer. Everything on this planet was burned up. Now somebody, that system, that intelligence needs something, huh? How are you gonna give me an owner's magic if that's my, if I can't read? Baby, don't read? Mm-hmm. It's vibration. Everything you hear is a vibration. And everything you read turns into a vibration, huh? To a vibration. And so I don't have to know how to read. I can just hear you talking as a vibration. 
Yeah, and that's how they get all the negative stuff in me from the vibration. But we become desensitized. Yeah, when you down with telephone, when you down nine, it breaks the current nine times. Do, 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 do. Nine. Eight, eight times. One, one time. And that's the vibration that, that, that could never be used. So when you stop and think about it, that child laying in the mud. All it had to eat is your human for nine months. And then it gets ready to come out. And you know, because the water bag breaks. Right. And now the baby starts moving. But for the first time the baby first time the baby is not hooked up to you. That's why your birthday should never be celebrated on your birthday the day before. Mm. That's when the party's coming. <laughs> they call Christmas Eve party. Huh? I'm sorry? Yeah, absolutely. You party, you party the day before, yeah. Into the oh, eve of it. Right. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. They have cities in America that on New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve, if you go out and you're drinking, you can order a cab and the cab has to take you home for free as long as it's less than 60 miles. Are you aware of that? Yes, I am aware of that. And if they don't, they can go to jail. Absolutely. But they don't have to take you on Christmas Day or New Year's Day. The party starts 24 hours. And now you come out, and the, the, the cord should not be cut within five or six hours. The reason they cut it there is it's a money thing. The first three minutes, super stuff comes out of you to inoculate you for stuff for the rest of your life. Mm. But the minor stuff keeps coming to about five or six hours. So what we do now is, you hear people say, like, when I was a little boy, you see, when you worked in the field, you go to work and you squat down and have a baby and keep working. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't realize then that you're supposed to squat down to have a baby. In the gravity pool. You're not supposed to sit on a toilet to have a bowel movement. You squat down. That's why we go to India and all in places over there. Then you go to a public toilet for hole in the mm, mm, mm. And you squat. One of the worst women to a defense is from a loving mommy. I say, when you get ready to uh, party pot, your mommy knows. And the baby knows, see, mommy, mommy. And then the baby sits there for three hours, and over a period of time, mom gets real mad. I thought you told me, well, what you did when you sit me on the toilet, you cut the muscles off. Amazing I information. To have a bomb. So consequently, all of the stuff that happens now, you mess up 100%. Mm -hmm. It's in school and things like that. Before I get to school, dear lady, I'm not in school when I'm two days old. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. By the time I get to school, there's another course that deep, deep brains me. So now I go to school. Why do you think if you had six children, the law in every state, truancy law, you have to have them in school by the time they're five or six, or you and the husband can go to jail. You know about that? Yes, I do. But if two of them children start to death, you don't go to jail. They just put the rest in the foster school. Foster school. Why is it a harder chemical? But not put them in school than it is for them. I need them there so I can get them on the same track. 
programmer. You know, you told me that, and I recalled an event where uh, during the summer I used to spend with my grandparents, and I used to sleep in the middle of them. And they would say, well, this girl sleeps so bad, but their headboard was facing west, and when I would wake up, I would be horizontal then with my head north. And... Whichever direction that may happen to be. Exactly. Exactly. They don't move all the way around the bed. The same spot, north. And any time you sleep, even now, your head's not north. Every nerve cell in your body gets pulled to north. Like a compass. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know. And so, and so consequently, what you have is all at once. I'm messed up from that. You know, if you open up a, a hotel and had all the beds and all, you see one thing, you just, wow, I don't know why I sleep so good when I stay in that hotel. <laughs> and, and so, if you count the amount of holes the universe put in your body, mm -hmm. count how many eyes you got? Two. How many ears you got? Two. So that's four, right? Mm -hmm. taught me so much and on that subject of you know the holes and everything that that's that's going on um, um gosh I forgot just that quickly but it's 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 that's I know it was you were telling me about the nine and I think globally people think seven and you explained to me you said look well if you if I give you if I have a safe and I give you the entire combination and leave one number off, that's going to throw the whole thing off. It could be a million combinations, of a million numbers. If I leave one out, that's going to throw the whole thing off. So if the world thinks it's seven and it's nine, the whole thing is just, it just goes off the map. Off, it goes off the grid. Yeah, but I said it earlier. It's a $300 million rule. I took a $30 spark book. It don't work.
Oh, God, black, I need to go see it again myself. Right, right. And then it looked like tree woods, right? Yeah, just everywhere. You know, when you disappear, right? Mm-hmm. It was exactly into the garden. 100%. Wait. You often talk about uh, all you have to do is turn on the light and feel for free. And that is so true. I know that. I'm sorry, I didn't you often speak about all you have to do is turn on the light and feel for free. You know, like. Feel. Like. Feel. Like, you know, roaches, ants, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah and I. Do you ask the question wrong? My grandmother don't know what you talked about. Turn on the light. What feel? Huh? All manner of filth. <laughs> no, 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 no. The sun, not the light. The sun takes all the germs out of your clothes. Huh? Not a drop. You must remember, you don't have the privilege of talking to certain people. I can turn your station on if I can read and write. If I'm high, if I'm drunk, I can turn it on. Right, 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 right. So true. I know it's difficult to believe, but that affected me as a kid. Thinking about uh, that affected me as a kid. Hearing that, I'm like, why is this bow breaking with this baby in it? You know, you see that in your mind. Yeah. I mean, I literally do remember thinking that. Yeah, and Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall and all that. Uniform. 
red and white. that it's a mind game when they say that uh, brown people are more athletically uh, in tune than that are white people when in actuality it's because they're not cultivating them for that. No. no. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, long bodies? Doing all the work.
good energy in my body flakes Now, like the, the things that you're talking about now, um, you taught me some um, practices that I use to bring things to fruition, and they've happened. What type of caveats or warnings would you give people for, you know, you know everybody wants something, you know. And when you're young, I doubt it very seriously if what you want when you're 20 is what you don't want when you're 40. That's why I don't, you know, endorse tattoos, but that's another thing. Um, what type of warnings would you give people? You see, there's so much info. This is the information age, and there's so much information on, um, on, the, on the World Wide Web, on the Internet. There's so much stuff out there. It, it, there's no reason for anyone not to know anything. And why do you say that? Well, I think the reason why... I tell you earlier, when you put on the magic glasses, right, it's like you with a billion dollars by a Rolls Royce and going to yellow and wonder what's wrong with them. Wait, don't take me literally. I don't mean that literally. No, 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 no. I'm talking about my mama sitting in the I keep telling you, when you get to where you are, you have an obligation when you are there. All them other people who are your fans, okay, they turned in as they always turned into you. And I'm not going to let you well that that's a part of what what I what I asked you the reason why I'm in this position to know certain things to to be able to do certain things but with that comes responsibility no, I, 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 I just said, no, you said that you should know, huh? well I, I'll put it this way the information Mm-hmm. You tell me I should know the color of red. Mm -hmm. I agree. You, you, you're right. I agree. No no argument. I, I agree 100%. Oh, I'm deaf. What do deaf and dumb people, people that are deaf, they talk with their what? Their hands. Okay, so now cops need to be taught that you deal with a deaf person and you deal with a blind person. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what Right, right. Being defiant. When I was a little boy, <coughs> if you were colorblind, you couldn't get in the, in the service. And that's what people are going to service for. They love the therapy. They're going to service for this. You get a job and a training. Okay, now, these... these. So if you was colorblind and your brother wasn't, he could get in the Marines, the Navy, you couldn't. Mm -hmm. You know that saying, be careful what you ask for? What do you think about that? I don't. I never give a thank you to ask for. What you ask for? When you're 
when you were hungry, what you had your mama for? <laughs> Something to eat. Okay, so at three years old, how you gonna be careful all that number this man bullshit? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now let's watch this now. You ever seen a bullfight? Yes. Not live, but I've, I've no, expected it. What color is it? Right, do you? Oh, it's bull. red. Did you know the bull is called one? Yes, I did know that. Huh? Yes, I did know that. So did you ask yourself a question then? What's the red right for? No, I didn't ask myself that. Red turns on men, and blue turns on women. That's why it's called the red light district. Oh, when you say turn on, you mean like Second. sexually? Okay. Okay, so if the bull don't see color, who they trying to turn on? Men. The bull fight. Okay. Okay. The man right? So he's sitting there, tight, short pants on. <laughs> and and, and let the bull get close and close on his fingers. Oh, boy, he's going through this for him. Not the bull. So he'll want to live. Huh? So he'll want to live. The matador, I mean. You don't care about that. Oh. Oh, oh boy, yeah. Hmm. And, and so, but all I'm saying is, uh, the bull don't see color. Well, how many of us grew up not knowing that we think it's something in that red cloth that acts like this? And so, and now somebody might come with research and say color has vibration. Okay. And the bull can feel the vibration. That's that's a, a level up there that we could go to. Let's say that you was born with a blessing that you were able to see German. Right? Mm-hmm. Were able to see German. Okay. Do you know how quick they put you in a mental hospital? <laughs> when you walking on feet jerking and, and moving and ducking and dodging. Right. Okay. Let's go back to the light. <laughs> the FBI. The FBI. The Apple. You can't be a cop in America without being a bad cop universally. Let's say you a mother and you have this nice house and then come in in the old days you used to use wallpaper. Yes. So they come in and paint the kitchen wall now, right? Right. The paint got laid in there. Mm-hmm. So what do you think happened to the children that live in that home? They got time in that kitchen. Lead poisoning. Okay, then what do you think happened to a cop that wears lead bullets around his belly? A minimum of eight hours a day. What do you think happened to them? It adds to their insanity. More cops in America die every year from suicide than killed in the line of duty. Hmm. 98% of cops that get shot, they get shot with their own gun. They raffle with take them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> what do you think? The number one divorce occupation is cops. And they second wives. Are you aware, Dick, about the uh, Vatican secret library and what you have to do in order to go in there? Well, Michelangelo uh, wrote a pope, I can't I think it was Pope Benedict, and he didn't get paid, Michelangelo, and he told him, he said, listen, he said, for St. Peter's sake, give me my money so that I can pay my workers. And they say that that's where the saying, for Pete's sake, comes from. I say that to ask you this. What in the world is in there? Nothing, it's, but a bunch of crap. Who was here? Huh? Okay, okay. Because I mean. The to make rain is not there. <laughs> the form of to grow you a new leg is not there. And that's not that old man stuff. I got secrets. Okay. And the way it works is. You know anybody that went to college during the paternity? I was fooled enough to do it. Okay. Well, so already. When I ask you a question, baby, I don't want you to give me. No, I say, do you know it? If I ask you, would you care for a cigarette? And you say,
said, no, I didn't, I didn't ask you, did you smoke? He said, no. Okay. My answer is yes. Okay. Now, okay. do you have secret handshakes? Yes. Okay, now remember the brain. Secret is secret. So once you have secrets, and I have no problem with the CIA and the FBI having it. Hmm. Mm. I have no problem with the bathroom having secrets, because I got secrets. Right, right, right. See, I there's no such thing as a little secret or a big secret. There's no thing as a nice way to rape me. No, not at all. Okay, all the same. So what I'm, what I'm saying is, so it makes no difference what the, the crap they got. Huh? It, it, for years people have said, oh, Jews run the world. Would you say Jews? Would you say the Vatican? Or would you say the five families? Who? The game they play to make you think that you different than them. Okay, we know Jews determine the price of gold. They get shot in the heart, you get shot in the heart. The only privilege they had is they probably ate a better meal than you, life than you. But when they get to the hospital, mm -hmm. because they have all this privileges with a heart shot, they don't have cut over your knee. Mm -hmm. Right, right. No shape, form, right? Then the game changes, yeah. So as long as I can make you believe I got you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as long as I can make you believe I got something that can help you that you don't have. So, yeah. You could go into a hotel and kill everybody in it. I called her for the police. I said, you know, in the day of day. Okay, but you say there's no secrets. Okay, not saying that you're keeping secrets. Okay. You said that there's no secrets, but as long as, you know, I you know, I think I got a secret, you know, and you got a secret, and we all got secrets, and we're all good, you know. But I know for a fact that you've told me to do things, and I've done them, and they've worked. I'm not saying that that's a secret. Right. Everyone's ignorant to something. So what I'm, so what I'm saying is, is that... That are not ignorant to anything? Mm -hmm. There are people who aren't ignorant to anything? Anything. Anything at all. Walk past them every day. And they can tell me what I had for breakfast this morning. Oh, that's true. <laughs> breakfast is nothing but a vibration. That's like once I learn two and two is four, hmm? then I can go ahead and learn trigonometry. Do you know how many people don't know that trigonometry, algebra, and all the types of uh, mathematics were uh, made by man? You think God made it? Huh? I, I think that people do think that uh, that uh, God made complex or convoluted math. Well, that's, that's, that's ignorant. Do you know reading is a violation? Huh? You did tell me that, yeah. Anything that wasn't here from... Can you read a Japanese paper? No. You think the universal God made something that changed when you cross a border and when you put the planets here, it wasn't no borders, remember? Right. Called planet Earth. Right, land mass, right. Okay. But I, I just, okay, let me, let me, let me do this. Um, so, it's clear you don't believe in soulmates and all that kind of stuff. A person that was destined to be with you prior to your even having a body. Crap. Okay. All right. That's fair. You got people that believe in soulmates, but don't believe in a black man is soulmate to a white woman. I'm one of those people. Okay. All right. Um. And that's what the problem is in the back hmm? and in the world. Okay. So. White man, not a black person, is trying to sell wood to you. Mm -hmm. And that white man says you got one thirty second Negro blood in you, you what? You're, you're brown. Okay, now, you got a pen and piece of paper in front of you? Yes. Okay, take your pen and make a mark. It's a straight line. Mm -hmm. Not that large, it's a straight line. Mm -hmm. Did it? That's one line, right? Right. So if that's you, okay. and they say if you got one thirty second, they will blood in you. 
<laughs> yes, I read the ISIS papers, yes. Okay. He puts it with them. They make that negative. Oh, don't be behind the eight ball. What color is that? Black. Basketball. That, that, that big ball that I got going into a, a, a white uh, net. Mm-hmm. That could look like more like a vagina. Mm-hmm. Than a school bus. Yes, yes. I got that football, my testicle, you kick it, or you run it in, and they got a, what do they call it, the goal post? Mm-hmm. White? Right. Two legs, right? Right. <laughs> the big H, huh? So what you're doing is looking at a big like FBI, CIA, guns, war, on that's darkness. You light. And the only reason they rule because when your light gets scared of darkness, you violate the universe. You were talking about um, how Adam said he was lonely. You said that. And clearly it says in the beginning there was darkness and it hovered over the uh, face of the earth. Well, if all there was here in the beginning was God, or the totality of all things, and it's darkness, then who are we? That's what we are. It's dark. It's, that's it's the color, I mean. Not, not the, the energy. Well, if you go back to what you said earlier, if you walk in the house tonight, you live in this big old mansion, and there's 10,000 rats in the house, and there's 200,000 roaches, what kind of gun are you going to get to kill without messing up your heart? That is turn the light on and you Right. But when you compromise your right to respond with, because of fear, there is a universal God that says to you, I am your God, before I sit back and let you reduce the dignity I gave you just so you can feed your family, pay your rent, because I will destroy you from the inside. You, you said something very profound. You said that... Um the prospect of color being a vibration. I am not sold on the fact that when I hold up, if, let's say if we were in a lecture hall and I held up a uh, projector and it depicted what you were taught was red, and you see the red, and everybody in the auditorium, let's say four million people, and they all see this red, they were taught that I was red. You have colorblind people and all this different kind of stuff. I'm not certain that all four million people, when they look at that red, that, that some people aren't seeing blue, some aren't seeing green, some aren't seeing yellow. But when they see it, when we see it, we're both gonna all identify it as red because that's what we were told was red and that's what looks like red to us. You look up at the sun, what color? Yellowish orange. Yeah. The sun is purple, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? What you looking at the energy that's so far away from the sun. Sort of like rip rays, right. When you look at a candle, you see that blue in the center? Yes. Okay, that's what it's about. That's just about. So, so when, when you look at something, it don't depend on your ignorance or my ignorance. All this stuff I love. I was so taught. 
Clearly, um, kindly, I mean, I know you for a long time. You're very sweet to me. You've been kind to my family and I. Um, but you've kindly debased me. Um, but like I said, by saying that, I, how you feel about my opinion and my being worse than white people. But I, I, I know you did. But I'm asking, my question is this. No, no, I was going to ask you, how does that correspond with the fact that you say that I'm brilliant? How all this is happening at the same time. I'm a, I'm a mad woman. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that. It's personal. No, no. But why, why, do you, why do you feel that? understand what you're saying. You've said it before. I have a duty because of what I do know. Can you talk about that a little bit? The color of your conscience is blue, okay? Okay. That's why they call me an in blue. Mm -hmm. Every city cop on the planet is what they believe in and believe in God and don't believe in God. Who okay. cares? Mm -hmm. And when I hear somebody say, I don't believe that, if you don't even look odd with them, do you think the most powerful entity in the history put this universe that you think it needs? I need the mama to defend it. If, if, a, if a welfare mother is robbing somebody got the money, if he argues I'm taking my money out of the chief's man Right. There's certain vibrations you have. And so that's what it was called, conscience on the trunk. Uh, if you've ever been driving down the street and you see this cat that looks like a police car. Yes. You check your brakes on <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the conscience on the truck. That's all the cop is supposed to be. Then the British changed it to cops on the truck. Mm -hmm. Constable, right. Cops on the truck. Mm -hmm. Any way you kill me, there is no good way or right way to kill me. For the mothers and fathers out there that hit a child, there is no good way to hit a child. That Universal God made that child didn't come from you, came to fill you up. Huh? Right. To get here to do whatever it's supposed to do. You you talked to me about balls, and we've talked, you and I, about golf and what those balls mean. And I'm not going to assume that the audience, um, even though I'm sure they follow you, you know, uh, fervently, knows that. But can you talk about the significance of the golf? and of the tennis ball. I don't know why they call it love. Maybe you may know. I don't know that no, much about I tennis. Pay, 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 to, uh, to golf. You have nine holes in your body. I have nine holes in my body. Right. Once them nine holes come together, how many holes is that? Eighteen holes, like you were saying before. All right. And that's golf. Except the real folks that put it out there, they know which are the female holes and what's in the male holes, and they get out there at 4.30 in the morning, and there's a ritual, you say. And so I got everybody else making it just a sports, but you don't know what. 
What is it though? The thing. What What is it really? It's a game. That's why they put it in a certain way in a certain place. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, everybody thinks that, you know, I heard you uh, do an interview with my friend Ron, and uh, this guy, I can't remember, Turner the Brother, that was his name, um, he said he had two questions to ask you. One was, if you were a Mason, and you said no, and um, I had literally gotten into conversations with people who think that, and it's not true, you've said it's not true, we know it's not true. And that bothers me because I love you so much and we're so close. And I had a conversation in a coffee shop that could have gone to blows. I had to get up and walk out. You know, because like you said, ignorance is on the other side of the game. You know, so, you know, so I didn't worry about it. Absolutely not. And see, and the person, you know, the person said to me, the person said to me, you're probably a Mason too. I said, fool, a woman can't even be a Mason. That would be an Eastern star. I mean, so at that point, you know you're talking to a fool, keep it moving. But for the benefit of it, can you just say no? Because <laughs> by the time the guy asked you the second question, he pissed you off and you hung up in his face. Thirty three degrees. Yeah, the conference of the surface is three sixty. Three hundred and sixty degrees. Wonderful. <laughs> if all you got is thirty three. <laughs> thirty three thousand dollars. And you're bragging about it. Well, that's what eight minutes of the time. If you don't know. Look, I come to LA tomorrow. I'm your house. I want you to look at this project. Right. Mm -hmm. And you saw me walking up to the door with red stuff coming out of my head. Something was wrong, that it was blood. Okay. Now that could be just dying, just playing, right? Right. But your first reaction is something happened, right? Right. Okay. But when you come into ghettos where people been suffering and going through humiliation, I throw paper on the floor. That's the same thing you saw. And if we were hip enough, when you see it, you say, I'm talking wrong with you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Think about cleaning up nothing. When I'm bleeding, huh? Right. I don't care about this $5,000 suit I got on. I'm just one guy from the White House. And we had this plan to go to jail. Right. And the cop pushed me, and I fell on the ground. He called the ambulance, put me in, and took me to the hospital. And I had on this sixty-five hundred dollars shirt. And they tried to get those to get my precious. He said, "I can't help him. I'm a cut." He said, "I heard you." He said, "It was cutting my shirt off." Mm -hmm. Now I don't have to worry about having a a heart rate that's erratic. <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's all vibration, I think. When we were children, I can speak for a woman, but most of the boys I knew, man, we want to get a fire truck. Yeah, nice and red. <laughs> but never a police car. You hear me? Never. I didn't know some of the things that caught you. Let me ask you a next. When I was a little boy, I was standing out on the corner and see the pimps to hold the hustlers together, waving at the cops, and go stick their heads and call me to talk. But when I grew up, why I got it? If I snatched a pocketbook, I could run, I should run to the cops. I'd see the bad folk run to are you aware that the, uh, you always say, I've heard you talk about or the awareness of what's going on with the Vatican, and I told you my having gone to Catholic school for 12 years, I thought it strange that something that these boys did literally every day, whereas most, like Baptists or Pentecostal, 
they go to church one day a week. And going to church one day a week, you know. But they literally go to church, have mass every single day. And once you do something every single day, I really don't think you need to rehearse. And these people, with, these priests, what they call priests, would summon these, what they call altar boys, down to the church or the rectory or whatever to go, allegedly go through this, this ritual that they do every day. So are you aware that a lot of it is homosexuality, but some of it is a ritual because they believe that a phallus and a phallus is making some type of a cult of magic or sex magic come to fruition? They change it so much. I said they change it so much. Um, oh, uh, just having sex um, with someone other than another one's uh, husband or wife. Go back again. If you marry, right? And have sex with somebody else, that's a dog. According to them, yes. What well, thought this what, 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 what talking about? I'm asking you what the average person thinks. I oh, I thought you said the Catholic Church. You went to Catholic Church, I didn't, okay? I thought you said Catholic. I didn't know you meant in general. No, I said the Catholic Church. I said, okay, so adultery, if you have sex with somebody else other than your husband, that's adultery, right? Correct. And you got to do what? Confess, right? Correct. But if I let you go up in my rectum and mouth from my ear, that's not adultery. That's where all that freaking stuff comes from. I don't have to confess that. Huh? As long as it's not a vaginal entry, is that what you're saying? As long as it's not. As long as you're not married and I have sex with you. Okay. Okay. Then we're talking about four and a half. Yeah, okay. I got you. Okay, I'm with you. So, can you tell me about um, Israel and Islam now? No, I don't know that much about it. I never cared. Okay. I mean, because it just, it just seems like, you know, we've talked, and it just seems like there's so many times that things go on in the world where it's like a ruse to keep your mind off of something else. It might be, but look, I can punch one button and call Ralph and know more about this than, 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 than rabbis know. That's what research is about. Speaking of research, I saw one of your um, lectures, which was excellent, I might say. I mean, it, it was ex absolutely excellent and funny at the same time. And that's what's so good about going and hearing, listening to your lectures. And they have, and you, I know you don't like do the internet too much, but just to let you know, you have like millions of hits. I mean, a lot. I mean, around the world, people know who Dick Gregory is. And they have a system where when you hit Dick Gregory once, it'll like link you to the next one and the next one, and you can just watch Dick Gregory until you die. But case in point, um, you, in the in the lecture, you were saying how Hoover put out the hit for you, and you passed out that uh, newspaper clipping, and then you put out the one where when you uh, ran for president, because so many people don't know that you were the first black man to run for president that, before Obama. And you couldn't find the article in the Wall Street Journal from 1968. And you have one of the best research teams in the world. And I was able to find that for you. And that makes me feel so good to know when I see you passing those out, I'm like, feeling so good. Oh, I found those, <laughs> you know, when you were passing them out. And, I, and it just made me feel so good to be able to do that for you. It, it really did, Greg. But. Um, and so many people don't know that because if you ask them, they probably say, 
Oh, Al Sharpton ran, Shirley Chisholm, Jesse, you know what I mean? Well, that's an illusion. They ran, and the process right. is run and the actual thing. Right. 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 I was in the presidential election. And so, and so when you look at it, so we're going to get out of here in a minute, so let's shift to what happened in Missouri. I was going to ask you about that. Do you think, did, when you first heard about that, the Mike, was it Michael Brown and St. Louis, when you first heard about that being in your hometown, did it ever come into your mind with what happened with the L.A. riots, the most recent ones I'm talking about? With the Rodney, uh, that was the spinoff of the Rodney King. Did it come into your mind that might be another organ stealing situation? No, I didn't. I didn't. First, I didn't know it was going that big. Okay. I looked at things in New York City where the news was created to turn around the world from here, London, to big news. And when they put the joke on them, and the whole world watched it. Mm hmm. And that didn't take off. Why would I think something from a little back town four miles from St. Louis would take off? Nor did the one with the, the policeman where he was literally pummeling the woman. Did you see that? Yeah, but wait. You're not hearing what I'm saying. New York is the news. Huh? That's right. Not some bullshit on the highway. That's what I'm telling you about, okay? So you thought it would just fizzle That's out? All the cameras in the world are in New York. So you thought the St. Louis thing would fizzle out? No, oh, I didn't pay no attention to it. Okay. I didn't have no thought about it. I'm looking at the woman on the highway. I no thought it was going to fizzle out. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I just look at it. Right. Okay. And then it didn't get laid. And then all at once it started getting laid. And I just, whoa, whoa, whoa. I called. I tried to sit there and get in there. You don't bring in the National Guard for 50 people, huh? No, you don't. All that violence was created by a group of white folks that come in there with the government provocateurs. Then you start seeing it. Wow. And then I went back and meet with the Kent State. Sent the National Guard in. One of the students shot at the National Guard. The students chased that person and ran right into the National Guard and they opened up and they didn't come in because he was a National Guard. Mm. A provocateur. And it was the Kent State Massacre. They just opened up, killed, wounded, some paralyzed. Go to court. Those were predominantly white folks. Then the truth started coming out, and that's how we found out. Right, the right. The government paid the payments. Payments to town. You know? So that's what I thought. And then more stuff started coming out. The body laid there for four and a half hours, and none of the major press, somebody explained why this body laid there. Wow. You know what? You Thank you. 
Nike, white socks. He's laying on the ground, he got flipped on the ground. He came close, they didn't realize he did came close. Those pictures that they showed him never happened. Then last week, the owner of the convenience store, with his lawyer, held a press conference and said, uh, it was never in the store. How can you prove that? All I got to do is call and get the police records. Right. And you see, there was never a call that went out. Then we find out it had nothing to do with the store. And then his friend was walking down the street, in the street, and the cop said, get the F out the street. Mm -hmm. The cop didn't stop him because of some robbery. And then the encounter started. And he said, the guy pushed him, and he went back to the police car. And he took his gun. Struggle, the gun went off. Well, where's the police car? Got to be a bullet in case, and then there got to be a hole. You know, we have a few more minutes, so I want to hit two things real quick. One, um, uh, we went on. A, I went on a fast that you supervised for me, which was great. I'm getting calls from all over the world, mm -hmm. and all they want to talk about is the number one story in the world. We've had damn near two hours, and now uh, the last few minutes, the story that everybody is looking at. No, I do. I was going to ask you, what did you think would happen if we fast to get this to come out? You got to know what this is coming out. What is this coming out? I'm giving you the back now. That's why I keep asking. Did you see that? Did you see that? Yes, huh? This is tennis shoes. The other thing is, if I'm a cop and I got an encounter with two people, did he have a friend with him? Um, I, I was never clear about that. Yeah, look at it. He walked out to me with a friend. That was a friend, the one that said, I got you. So why wouldn't I think I got two people I got to deal with? Why would I assassinate one person that a witness get away? And why is that witness in the, in the, in the, in the FBI protection unit? What, what do he know or what did he say? And I called a friend of mine to go in and check out the funeral and see if that friend was that close to it. Was he at the funeral? <laughs> That's a darn good way to go about it. And so, man there, more important than the killing, how can he lay there? Because if you and I are cop and we phone in, there's an encounter, we just shot him. Why would somebody might think that y'all been held hostage? And I'm telling you to say this, huh? Right. How come no police car? How come we didn't see no red wagon today? He can't refute it. He's not here. And then, four and a half hours, a black SUV took him away with no writing on it. So we don't know. I got people calling me that don't believe they took him somewhere other than some place. So what did they hide? The guy called me from Britain two nights ago. They didn't open up the coffin. So we studied the film and studied the film. And, and so, you think he was in the coffin? That's what happened. If they handled stuff in the trash, if they had to make it one trash. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at the cop, did you see the cop in that woman's picture? She was just standing over there. No. With the gratitude. It makes me think he might have been under my eye. Wow. Did you see the cop that, that talked about when you go into a black neighborhoods with domestic violence, you said go slow but both of them will kill each other. Did you see that come? I didn't see him. On tape. Mm. See, that might have been my control. I asked last night a huge rally. I said, what do you think? And I'm going to ask you, not the viewpoint, but what do you think the masses of the people would react if Probably institute martial law. Okay, well, what would have to happen for them to institute martial law? Uh, then they would have to lose control of the people. Okay, 
So what makes you think you can think of that, but they wouldn't? <laughs> so if they know that would happen and they don't want it to happen, then they just tell us next week to cop some insulin mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Case over. Anytime you put your, your whole wisdom, uh, let's get to the bottom of it, on one person, once he's dead, your stuff's over. Get back to life. Huh? Right, get back to life, yeah. Dick, I'm gonna say. Dick, I'm gonna say three. Yes, hand, yes, empty-handed. I saw you on Unsung Hollywood, and you you were talking about, and I had told you before how brave I believe you are for admitting your fear, and then you said after you did it so many times, the fear just. It just evaded, yeah. and you're there. There are very few people left from from that era, from that from that movement. And for for fear to flee is one thing, but to prevail with 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 all the artillery that they had, you had to be walking with a certain light. Well, that's when you take up, you take that. And then all the people coming yeah, together. That's what you tell me, but you're knowing that I, I know I who I am. Right. That's what your father's for. Protection. That, that, that's who who's for. Your father. The totality of all things. The most high. What you call it? I said your father. Yeah. Oh. Woman. yeah. Well, we're gonna call. We're gonna call it. There. There is no yeah. word for it. take people out. Lillian told me I had till 1.30, it's 1.26, so I'm going to say this and you told me what comes to mind. Mark Twain.
black folk didn't have no name. We were God's peace people. Captain Brown, Mark Twain was so crazy to me. Wrote Huck Finn and the black person was named Jim. And he called him Nigga Jim. That's the first time a black person had a first name. I've always known about Mark Twain, but not his humor until you introduced me to it. She told him, she said, you know, James didn't in love with me. I did not take the time to break me. I mean, he killed me. He ain't never like you and me. So he tell you that you believe him. I got two babies, two babies, Phil. He apologized. Wow. wow, he said, uh, Mark Twain said, among other things, to succeed in life, you need two things, ignorance and confidence. You need two things, ignorance and what? Confidence. If you could count every grain of sand on every beach, you could know how much both my family and I love you. Greg. We love you so much, Jay. You've been so kind to us. You'd have to, I mean, infinitely kind, and we infinitely appreciate it in the sense of gratitude and not understanding. 
and I thank you for this. There is no one else I would rather have done this other than you. Um, like I said, I can't tell you how much I love you. It would just, it would just be redundant. I'd be sitting here until the next three universes pass. So may you be blessed and continue to elevate, and I'll talk to you soon. And thank you. They, I'll, I will, and oh my God, my grandmother loves you so. <laughs> She's waiting for you to call her again. So you be sweet, and I'll, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, great.